Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I love you. Sending you a very big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. All right. So I'm going to do my best to dissect this concept that came in about freedom. And this is the word that came in this morning when I asked my guides, what's up for humanity? Freedom. So here's what I want you to visualize. Imagine that you as a soul or a spirit incarnated down into a physical body and a physical earth that is in a cloud. We're going to call that cloud the third dimension. The third dimension is dense, which means that the experiences that you have as a human in a third dimension can feel heavy. It can feel um, there is experiences that you have that uh, are somewhat evil at times, dark, uncomfortable, um, sad, depressing, um, those kinds of things. Anxiety, stress, those are experiences that we have as a human in the third dimension. Now, one of the things that is occurring right now is that we are pulling ourselves out of this cloud by raising the frequency of the light. So raising the consciousness, raising the light, raising the frequency in our bodies. When we do that, we start to pull ourselves out of the cloud that we call third dimension. Now here's the tricky piece. Most of us, almost all of us in human forms, let's just say this lifetime, have lived in an illusion that we have been free. There is no right or wrong about this. It's not good or bad. It's the experience of the third dimension. So if you can listen to this without saying right, wrong, good, bad, or even pointing fingers, but let's just settle into this as energy and consciousness. Most humans have experienced their life as if they have been free. And on one level, many of us, depending upon what country and continent you're in, you've been somewhat free. But what is occurring right now is we are shifting out of a third dimensional field or a third dimensional matrix. And we are starting to realize that this has, our freedom has been an illusion. What do I mean by that? The consciousness that we have been in has created this sort of mind control or manipulation just based on the consciousness of this dimensional field, okay, that we agreed to be in when you dropped into the human body. There is a, such a large amount of control mind control, manipulation from the moment we are birthed into this body that allowed us to believe that we were free willed choice beings. We were making choices, but what was happening behind the scenes is that there was this very subtle and very powerful manipulation by external sources and systems that we couldn't feel, see, understand, know. No right or wrong. It's just part of what you experience in the third dimension. And so as we start shifting into higher frequencies within our body, we start to see that perhaps we've never really been free. Even though we are free, many of us in many countries, there is a layering of our freedom that has always been there, that has made us believe that we have these choices that we're making but perhaps these choices that we're making are powered by external sources manipulating and controlling us. Telling us what we need, telling us what we want, telling us what to be afraid of. 
telling us basically how to navigate our life based on how they want us, the lens they want us to see with whether it is an educational system, the, the media system, the governmental systems, the scientific systems, right? And so in order to move into a new dimensional field, new earth, 5D, higher states of consciousness, whatever that is, we have to recognize the consciousness we have been in which means we have to recognize that we've been in a controlled setting, a mind-controlled setting, a manipulative setting. The energies have been manipulating us, controlling us. And what you'll notice if you look out in your external right now, what are we seeing a lot of? Control. What are we seeing a lot of? Our freedoms being taken away. What are we seeing a lot of? external systems telling us to be afraid, external systems telling us what to do, external systems telling us why to do it. Again, there's no right or wrong about this. This is how you shift an entire collective of human consciousness. We start to see that which we have to shift. There is no way of recognizing and knowing that we've been controlled and manipulated unless we see it and we cannot move into and shift an entire human collective into a new earth 5d higher state of consciousness without recognizing what we're actually shifting you can't bypass it and just jump into a different dimensional field you have to recognize what has been holding you in this field. You have to recognize what the human collective has been in. In order to begin to choose to step out of it. We've always had free will. But if you have been inundated with a consciousness that has been controlling you, then it's impossible to choose to step out of it. The awakening process is starting to recognize what you are in in order to choose to step out of it without a judgment of right, wrong, good, bad. This is key. This is key to really choosing freedom. So pay attention to really what is happening right now. It's all a perfect design of how we shift an entire human collective. The only way to get your conscious choice back is to realize that you didn't have a conscious choice for a very long time, even though you thought you did. The only way to realize that perhaps we've been manipulated is to see and to honor and to surrender to the fact that you may have been and may be manipulated. And then we become sovereign and we start to choose. This is a very complex piece of the process of ascending into higher states of consciousness, is really coming to terms with the consciousness of the third dimension without a judgment around it. What am I standing in? What have I been experiencing my whole life? What is getting louder in the external right now? If you want to know what we're shifting out of, look at what is getting louder and louder in the external. The more our freedoms are taken away from us, regardless of how you, your opinions around it, the more our freedoms get taken away, the more we can say, oh, that is the consciousness that I am being asked to look at so that I can step into freedom. The more we are inundated by what we need to do, what we should be afraid of, what we need to protect ourselves from, the more you can say to yourself, wait a second, this is the consciousness that we're shifting. What is this asking me to look at? Have I always been afraid in my life? Have I always allowed others to tell me to be afraid of something 
to look out for something. If you think about what new earth or 5D consciousness or what I like to call heaven on earth looks like, does it have anything to do with an external source telling you what to do? Telling you what to be afraid of? Silencing you? Dividing you? No. It's complete and utter freedom, choice, free will, unity, compassion, empathy, love. We are seeing quite the opposite in the external because that is what we are here to shift. And the way we shift and pull a human collective into higher states is we start to look at what we're in and we start internally right here with choice. Through love, compassion, and empathy, choice. What do I want? How do I wanna be? How do I want to be in this now moment? Not what someone's telling me to be. If someone's telling me to be afraid, do I wanna be afraid? If someone's telling me to do something to in order to you know, create a different experience for somebody else, is that what I want? Does any of this make sense, right? Do I want to be in a divide with other humans? What do you want? How do you want to be? And how, what is the external consciousness that's getting loud in your now moment? Because that is what we are here to shift. That's what we're here to shift. Think of it. Look at it. Breaking out of a third dimension is very, very easy and complex. And it takes kid gloves to be able to pull humanity through it. The mind control is massive and it's okay. We all knew that this is what we would be jumping into. The density of the third dimension, we knew it. As a being of light, as a soul or a spirit, we knew what we were coming into. And we, would, and we knew there would be a moment where we would start to move out of it. That's the ascension or the evolution of human consciousness. And so as humans, third dimensional humans with emotions, thoughts, behaviors, and beliefs, we are experiencing this pull out of third dimension with a lot of anger, resentment, rage, fear, etc., etc. But can we start to shift out of this with empathy, compassion, and love by choosing? This is just consciousness shifting, choosing. This is just consciousness shif shifting, I'm choosing. Freedom is huge. So pay attention. Just watch what's happening and the loud, how loud it gets and start to make a choice based on what you want based on what you want. And if you're in a country where you don't feel like you have that choice right now, can you find freedom within your field right here? Can you find freedom within your breath? Can you find freedom within your light? Can you find freedom within your love? Can you find freedom within your house? Because we are all free. We have always been free, always. We just agreed to jump into a physical body that is standing in a third dimensional field, inundated with control and manipulation and greed and fear, etc. We have all, you have always been free. Come back here, come back to your breath, come back to the light of who you are the light, the consciousness, the powerful consciousness that you are. Come back to that. Breathe into it. Remember you're free. Remember you're navigating a powerful external shift in consciousness. And you've got this. I love you. Thank you for being here.